Hello and welcome to the first beer of Christmas. December 1st. That's right, 2017. I didn't come back too far. You're Wait. Sexy Santa Rob. I'm Sexy Santa Rob. I uh, I didn't approve of this name. And I'm the link of Christmas past. I'm the link. How Rue Tiding Joys. And then we've decorated our lovely set. We've put some lights up. We put some Santa hats and other dollar dollar store accoutrements, and we're ready to open up the first beer of Christmas. <sighs> Daily, would you like to do the honors? Here we go. Uh, I don't need that. I'll just use my fingers. Yeah, maybe in the very last day of Christmas you can use a sword. And also show people On how to the open. First day of Christmas, my true love gave to me. Ooh, give Ooh. it the vanity your camera. There we go. Red racer. It's <laughs> Gary's chocolate orange. Gary, Gary, Gary. So that's a beer, Gary. That's Gary's Chocolate Orange Pale Ale. Mm. You do me the honors, sir, of decapitating him. Excellent. You ready for your first day of Christmas pour? Now we have to remember that there's not a lot. Okay. So we need to examine all of the uh, the aspects of it. So first of all, uh, we'll look at the color. Look at that color. Oh, she a bad amber girl. Yeah, it's a dark amber. What's the smell like? It smells like a pale ale. I don't think I can smell any orange, can you? Not yet, but we'll wait. Best not to whack this beer. Just pop the cap and enjoy a smooth, delicious pale ale that has the holiday-inspired favorite combo of chocolate and orange. Now, for those of you who aren't familiar with uh, a family tradition in my household, my youngest sibling, Evelie, does not whack her chocolate oranges on the wall. She hits me with them. So this year, you can also tune in to see how uh, the new chocolate orange goes down. As she beats me with her chocolate orange to make the slices edible. You started without me, you son of a bee. I'm sorry. Cheers. Cheers. Enough about your Pornhub account. Interestingly enough, the ingredients are listed and it's quite short. Daily, before we talk about what the taste is, why don't we talk about what's exactly in this beer? Well, this ruins how to make beer for everyone at home. Now you know, it's just water, barley, hops, and yeast. But they've actually added orange peel and cocoa powder. So it looks like they went raw ingredients instead of flavor, which is nice. So I'm guessing, I don't know, but I'm guessing they added uh, dried orange peel as a secondary fermentation. Probably later in the fermentation process, yeah. as well as the cocoa. It's light. The cocoa and orange are there, but they're very light. Mouthfeel, it's almost... Mm. It's good, but I... Because uh, I've definitely had some chocolate beers in the past that were overpowering. I really didn't enjoy some of them. Especially like a porter or a stout will have a heavy dose of chocolate. Some of them though, I've had uh, I've had other ones, like I had the Storm Brewing, one of their chocolate beers, and it was actually, it was pretty enjoyable. Well, the first day of Christmas, folks. A delicious chocolate orange beer. And I uh, just want to show everyone at home what a murderous villain Gary clearly is by holding him out of focus. There, look at him. He's not a good man. Well, join us tomorrow for the second beer of Christmas. I have to wait till tomorrow? Yeah. What is it, a link to Christmas past? Mm -hmm. A link to Christmas past, because I don't know if this is an elf or a link cosplay. Yeah, that sword was just sitting around and you put it on. Some Zelda thing going on. I think he did that while I was in the bathroom. Oh.